Hey, this is Silicus, and this is the Corsair Link Part 2. This time I'm going to show you what this actually looks like inside the operating system. We're going to boot this up. So if you got any questions, put them down below. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Subscribe if you want to get more. Let's get this thing turned on. It makes a lot of noise when it first kicks up. But uh, then the Corsair Link kicks in and quiets all these down. All right, so this is the Corsair Link's interface. I have a 600T, and this is the uh, image of it right here. So what we're gonna do is on the left side, it shows you the sensors and devices, shows you all the groupings, so you can see exactly uh, what you have being monitored. As you can see, there is a ton of stuff that I have attached to this computer. Uh, one of the coolest features about this is that you can actually drag them to the overlay. For instance, this is my NVIDIA GPU-1. This is one of the 580s. Here's number two, and number three. Stack them all up so that way we know the temperatures. And then we have CPU temperature. You have my, I have three thermal temperatures, so there's one, two, and three. They're plugged in different spots, so they're labeled differently, but I have one over here. I just kind of randomly put them in the case. I haven't really put a localized temperature spot for them yet, um, but that's generally where they're at. Um, here's your H80 temp. Here's what it's saying. It's being read on the actual pump itself. Here's your LED1, which I have at the bottom, LED2. Now here are all the case fans. I have two on the top, and I have one over here, two right here. Oops. Registering that, and here is the RPMs of the actual pump itself. So now you can look at your case and you can see exactly what's going on on your case at all times by just watching this. Now we're gonna go a little bit into the actual settings. So let's say you want to turn up this fan. Okay, so from here you have low noise, balance, high performance, custom control, fixed RPM, maximum RPM. Here you can actually toy with the graph. It's not clickable, but you can uh, move up and down where you want the performance to be when you go to custom. So here you can choose a point from which how high or how low your curve, so that way you can uh, designate the uh, RPMs of your fans and to what temperatures in which it uh, affects itself. As well as just setting it to max to make it loud, which uh, there's a big difference whenever you set them up to loud. For I'll give you an idea real quick. As you can hear the uh, increase in fan noise. And they slowly, slowly come back down in RPMs and lower the noise. Okay, so here you have the LEDs. Probably one of the most uh, interesting things. So what you can do is click on them and you can go over to the cycling and temperature. Now, normal leaves it at a steady, a steady color. You can use a slider to change the color. More on that here in a second. You can do uh, cycling, which allows you to transition bet between the two, and temperature, which allows you to set the color in which it will uh, reflect the temperature zone that it's in. One of the biggest things that bothers me about it, though, that it only allows you to go to 70. For some reason, I can't get it to get any higher but at least uh, it's an option for the case. But for graphics cards, it may not be so useful, but uh, you'll get the general idea here in a second. So I will switch it to cycling, and we'll have it go between, we'll do like a red and a kind of a, let's do a kind of a pink purple sort of color, because that's an interesting glow, as well as leaving the uh, bottom under, um, under temperature. Okay, so let's uh, switch it over to the actual computer here real quick. All right, so we have the temperature of the CPU. Right now, we'll turn that into the LED function, so CPU temperature. Right now, it's it's pretty chilly, all things considered. So let's uh, crank up the temperature. Let's run some Prime 95 real quick, and you'll watch uh, the CPU temperature, which is at the bottom, will increase dramatically as it gets warmer due to stress level. The color changes so that way if you'd like to see what the temperature is reflected in lights, you have that ability. So let's uh, stop Prime 95 and it'll obviously go back down to being nice and cool over time. All right, so let's show some transitionary lights real quick. So now the bottom one, we'll turn this to cycling. We'll have it go between red and blue. You can actually change this to a four different colors if you'd like can make it go to a uh, kind of a yellow color 
Okay, for groupings, we have different control groups. Um, each one is obviously designated to a type. Um, these are fans. You have uh, different groups that you can associate things with by moving them around. Kind of useful if you want to group everything together, as well as make graphs of your temperatures over time, such as here is the graphics cards and your CPU. And if you raise the temperature of your CPU, you'll see it spike. So you can get the idea of what your temperature rises up over time, so you can see where you're at. Watch it fall back down, and you can see your general use of the Corsair link. Okay, so after you've set up all your data, you can go to your file and you can save these to your profiles. One of the things is you'll notice that this kind of moved around. The link sometimes is a little uh, buggy with the software, but it seems to be set up pretty well now. Once you set it, you can actually save it to your profiles. You hit save as, type in the name of the profile itself, and then save it. What it does is that way you can switch between any of these profiles. It'll save your thermal settings, your LEDs, your RPMs of your fans. So that way in different settings, so for instance, if you're like, you know, playing a game, you don't mind it was being loud, or if you're going to bed, you can turn off all the lights and the sound. So it makes it a little bit easier, allows you to control it and do whatever you want from the OS without having to bother switching with any knobs or going into the BIOS and set, changing any settings there. Once again, it's the Silicus, and this is the Corsair Link. If you've got any questions, put them down below. At the end of this video, I'm going to show you a demonstration with the lights off around here so you can see what the LEDs look like inside of the case. Still got a little bit more cable management to go, but you can get the general idea. And if you like these videos, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to get more of these and more videos on this mega build coming up. Thanks.